back bird, back bird dismounting out, hand standing back out. So that means back bird, get in. Here. Your hands would come down towards the ground. And then you have you come out, right? Mm -hmm. Now let's come back, let's, let's discuss the fall. So Kirsten, when you're facing this. Yeah. You okay? Okay. No, I think it's okay. We know back or good fall what? down this way, right? <laughs> we know that. So you as the base, what are you doing? You're keeping your hands up and you're keeping your legs, making sure your legs are not too far back towards your face. That they're 90 right there, okay? Okay, as you bring your hands down here. They, she could clap onto you, so make sure your feet are still tracing on her butt and help her slowly push with your toes over and out. That way, okay? One thing that Sammy can do is make sure that her arms are locked in as close so they're stacked above her shoulder, they're not out like that. Okay, so that's one thing she can do. Another thing Sammy can do is as you're coming over, Sammy, bring one leg all the way over this way so your weights are already dropping down. Okay, start dropping down a weight, one leg at a time. Okay. And then, uh, so uh, Kirsten, let's have you lay down so you can see where the hands go, okay? And Sammy, okay, so, so one thing that Sammy can do to slow down this for you is to grab your ankles. She can grab it so she can push off, okay? And you can reach for the triceps here, so it helps you to push up, okay? Up, and slide them over her shoulder. Keep in mind never to go beyond this way. Nice 90 with the legs and hands and wrists stacked right above your shoulders, right? When it does happen, because it could, if it does happen when you come over too far this way, I want you to bend your feet immediately to drop her hips and her feet, but keep your arms straight so that her body is getting in an upright position again. And she, gets, she has more time to roll out, okay? So again, one more fall, up. If you're coming up too far this way, bend your feet right away. Keep your hands up so she can roll off and brace herself. Sammy's very aware because she knows it carries us on this way. So I'm training her how to be really mindful and know how to fall well. So um, we're trying to train, if you're training a new flyer how to fall well, the more time they have on, on feet, they're going to get a, a better sense of their body in the air. Okay, we'll lean back again. Go ahead and grab my ankles there, Sam. It gives me some support. I'll push up and you're here, right? Mm -hmm. All right, Kirsten, watch this. Help her bring her hands on the ground. You can keep your hands here on her shoulders there. Help her get on the ground by lowering your legs, okay? Her job is to keep these in as much as possible. And then once you're here, you can watch my feet. Once she has her hands on the ground, I can use my toes to point up and then with the arms, press out a bit. And she has a very strong handstand, so she'll, she won't collapse. You don't have to worry about that. But uh, to, to warm up that, let's make sure that our flyers have a decent handstand against the wall. They don't have to hold a perfect handstand, but they at least need to be able to hold a handstand against the wall and be able to keep the arms locked out. Otherwise, they could collapse on you. Okay? Sammy has that, so you guys, I think, are good to go. Be mindful, if there's a fall, collapse those feet, keep those arms straight up. Okay? And I'll be here to spot, but my job, if I'm a good teacher, is to get you guys to be able to feel confident doing this without a spot. Okay?